So I need more people so I can sacrifice them. Look, my happiness is super high despite all these sacrifices. So they, you know, they're here for the cause. They're cool with it. They're okay. Everything's fine. There's nothing to see. Feudal Fantasy Incremental received a big update. We did a full playthrough last video. Same format today. I'm just gonna play as I comment and try to do everything. So there's a bunch of new achievements. Um, I haven't touched this game in a while. So I'm gonna have to remember where to go. I think it's here, a bunch of tasks. And there's a bunch of Steam achievements. There were certain editions. I noticed, I looked a little bit before starting and by the way, I got 2.4k um, prestige, how do they call that? Um, prestige points, simply. And there is new stuff here. See, this costs 15, so I can buy um, a couple of those. I just want to buy the new stuff. I don't think it was there before, so if you look at the previous video, it's like an hour long. <laughs> but if you look at the previous video, I doubt this was here. What I did uh, between the previous video and now is I prestige a bunch of times to get points. So we'll leave it at that for now. I'm gonna try to avoid prestiging. We'll see how things go. So this seems completely new to me, 1% of sacrifice resources in mana pool gets converted to mana. So I don't know what you mean by that, so... The uh, neighboring Undead Kingdom has sent an army to attack your town, lured by an unusual concentration of mana. With time running out, you must train and equip your populace, populace to fend off this Undead Horde. And then you have new buildings. Okay, so uh, I can battle. Okay, so there's new mechanics, it seems. If I just go battle right now, I lost. Okay, <laughs> because I have nothing, probably. I lost 70%. But see, I recover very quickly. That's fine. I'm going to wait before uh, fighting me. Make sure I understand what's going on. Uh, here we got... Uh, I'm just looking for new stuff. So is there anything new I've never seen before? That is level 0. I'm just going to each building. That's the clicking power. I remember that. What do you click again? Oh yeah, like this. You hold the button, right? Yes, yes. So here, Dwarven crafting techniques. Okay. Now I did um, prestige. So I was about to say SM. That's is that new? I'm not sure. I don't know what's new or not. I'm not sure. Um, at the point I was in the last video, I didn't even watch it housing is fine and the thing is max level here so i'm looking for new stuff that looks new to me so when i do this it reduces all that so i'm maxed out though here i'm maxed out and gives me twenty thousand every time i click but it costs a bunch so how do I get those? How do I get those here? 2% 2 2.5% of sacrifice resources in mana pool gets converted to mana. Okay. And more and more. And if I click on this, okay, so it does and cost me mana to buy this. I can increase the golem skills if I want to. Are they attributed? I think they are. Um There's a place you can attribute. Say I have dwarves. I probably have golems somewhere. I don't remember. Okay, so oh, I'm still feeding bread. Yeah. So how do I increase this here? And uh, zero. That's my power versus five thousand. So there might be a building or something. Build a mana pool. Build barracks and a blacksmith. So how do I do that? Build barracks and a blacksmith. Where do I find that? Barracks and a blacksmith. I really do not know where to find that. 
No. I'll find it. Build barracks and a blacksmith. No. What am I missing? What am I missing? Barracks? Blacksmith, there you go. Better. <laughs> Here's an achievement. Sorry I was slow here. Win your first battle. Yeah, okay. So first I'm gonna have to, of course, uh, upgrade stuff in those two buildings that I made. Where are they? Here. Combat skills. Training and combat drills. Combat drills level 30. So what does it cost me? Okay, it, cost, it doesn't cost me much. And then I do ship. So I'm buying a bunch of stuff without even looking what they are. <laughs> I need to win 20 battles for this, so okay. But money, I have um, millions. <laughs> so I can easily upgrade that. The leadership, and then I can upgrade it. Everything recovers really quickly, so maybe this is a bit slow. <laughs> I could, uh, that's the, where the bread is, isn't it? Rejuvenating bread. Yeah, it's pretty slow. I need to make more bread. Good stuff feeding bread. Doesn't seem to change much though. Change much. Okay, so... Let's go to the max here, max here. We can train 70% of your end population. Let's start training. Oh, look at that. It's going up right now. So I'm training my population. Okay. I need 5,000 also. To be more efficient, I would assume. Increase army power. Increase speed of training. Speed of training. That's what I want. I want my training to be faster. Train 1.85 people per second using whatever. And then when I increase it, I increase the amount of people second I'm using okay okay currently oh, okay so it the longer I go, okay I'm gonna do a test I'm gonna stop start oh, yeah, okay it's going up so uh, I'm gonna wait until <laughs> I'm high enough so I don't know why this is all to zero so uh, we'll figure it out though but I made two buildings did I not so this is the barracks isn't there a blacksmith? Let's check it out. Where's the blacksmith? Farm. Sawmill. Blacksmith? Now maybe I'm gonna get this. No, some numbers on the left. Possible. Let's go. Let's go uh, mod this first. Oh, crafting the, the city to 10, bang. Do 10 everything. So, start all, look at that. And that seems to be maybe magic or something like this, I don't know. So reduce require crafting materials, increase crafting speed, Increase magic sword power by whatever percent. Magic sword per second. Okay. Mitchell sword power. And then making this. Now I'm at 7,000. This is battle. And I win. And I harvested 40 of whatever that is. Nice. So I won my first battle. Win your first battle. Dark Shrine, okay, so how do I make a Dark Shrine? Dark Shrine, uh, I'm gonna go at random places and try to find it. Oh, Forest Homes. Oh, for much greater population gains. Let's go. What did I say again? <laughs> Short term memory problems or what? Dark Shrine, how do I make a Dark Shrine? Uh, this is a you know nice and relaxed and simple game. I just gotta click around it up because I, I never played this game. I played once, then this is the second time I really play besides just uh, prestiging. So how do I build that? I really don't know. Oh here, well yeah, that's my main building. I should remember that, huh? Study dark energy. That's cool. Where's that shrine though? I didn't pay attention. Where was it built? I don't know. Let's hit that. 
Sacrifice, so I can sacrifice. Where's that shrine though? I uh, did not pay attention. You see a shrine? Well, I'm not streaming right now, so you can't answer that. Uh, oh, I can battle. Victory. And, and I don't know if we're so, sort of even if it's 50% chance of winning or not. Now I'm too low. Okay, so uh, speed of training, I want more of that, more of that, more of that. Battle harden, win 20 battles. So we're gonna have to do that 20 battles. Right, so I need you to be much stronger for that. Uh, where was that building again? The uh, blacksmith? No, that's a bakery, academy. Blacksmith! So I can like just spend whatever. Dark Shrine. Maybe here. No? This? No? This is annoying. I can't find it. No, I built it. But I, I can't find where it is. Let's battle again. Battle again. We got 345 of this. Dark Shrine. Where, where are you, Dark Shrine? Here, maybe. Tax. Everybody's taxed to the max. Still. <laughs> My happiness is higher than the maximum. Okay. We've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, how many points do I have? Where do I see that? I don't know. Sacrifice. I need to sacrifice at the dark shrine. Oh, right there, right there. I. It was not easy to find. Let's be frank. It was not easy to find. Now that... There we go. I missed click. Dark Shrine sacrificing villagers will, will decrease happiness temporarily. 10% of people. Let's sacrifice some people. I don't know what it does though. Dark energy smelting. Unlock use of dark energy in smelting. So, this stuff. Increase amount of extracted dark energy after winning a battle. Okay, so that's cool. So I get more every time I win a battle. My production. They want to agree. So I'm going a bit fast, but you can maybe slow down the video if you want to. I just want to go through this, speed through this game in reality. It's a very simple game once again. It's just uh, I have difficulty finding stuff right now, but it's not that bad. Victory, again. Beware, a lich has been sighted in the realm and is rumored to be stronger than... So that it will be like a boss, like 38,000. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait. Sacrifice 1,000 villagers. That's a lot. Let's do it. <laughs> That's pretty cruel. I tax them to the max and I sacrifice them. No more sacrifice. I want to generate more population. Is that with bread? I don't know. Population growth. Absolutely. There you go. So I need more people so I can sacrifice them. Look, my happiness is super high despite all these sacrifices. So they, you know, they're here for the cause. They're cool with it. They're okay. Everything's fine. There's nothing to see. Demonic tools, research how to make tools out of dark energy. Let's go. So maybe it will be the blacksmith, which uh, I don't, will I ever remember what the building is? Increase demonic sword power by 5 since I need 10. I don't even have that. I spend it all. So I'm going to buy this. And, uh, and buy a couple of these things, I suppose. Oh, look, this. They went next door, right? They went next door. So that's cool. So let's wait. How can... Okay, I want to make this faster. That is in... Uh, okay, the barracks, right? Uh, is it the barracks? So that's the blacksmith. No, that's the end. That's the barracks. So I want this to be faster. But I don't have enough... Uh, Oh, look at this. Oh, that's the army power. Oh, yeah, I wanted my army power to be higher. Let's go with the leadership. Look, I can fight this and win. 307 harvested. My victory over the Lich has brought hope to the land once more. The people are no longer afraid and they sing 
He praises as the one, I'm the one, right? Who delivered them. My bravery and skill have proven that good can triumph over evil, but the undead lands are far from purged. Well, it seems like I'm not that far from being done with this. <laughs> Defeat the Lich, done. So I want to check now. I'm just going to, I don't know if it's going to mess up the mess up the recording. I'm just going to verify my achievements. I'm on Xbox boss. I don't know if it's going to start the recording. Let's check my achievements. Feudal, where are you? Right there. I got 100% of the achievements. So <laughs> that would be it. So there's there's still stuff to do, like win 20 battles. But uh, I just wanted to explore the update, okay? And uh, that's what it is. So we uh, did a full playthrough again. We did everything, of course, besides a couple of things like win 20 battles. Like if I go, if I go in the, um, there's maybe one thing I could do. This I don't have this yet. That might make me stronger maybe increase the only sword power by 20 percent but i still have zero here oh look right there that will make me stronger then i can win another battle right then i can go even higher like this but it takes some time to increase this and i have all the achievements and the story is over everything's done here and if i go here achievements Increase speed of training by 5%. I like that. Increase crafting speed by 5%. I would go um, training for sure. And maybe one of each like this. Look how balanced it is. Beautiful. I don't, I don't know how many points I have. I don't know why I don't know. I don't know why I don't know. Oh, here. 10 points. But uh, I can't spend them. I don't have to reset anything. I don't have to uh, prestige anymore. Right? I would get 2,000? Yeah. So, you know, it's not really worth it. Storage planning. So, population max. I could probably spend, you know, on that. Population growth. I want that to when I sacrifice people. So, you know, I could keep going like this, but honestly, I'm pretty much done. There's went to any battles. Battle hardened. Okay, what I'll do then, I'll just... Uh, do a jump cut and I'll win my 20 battles, see what happens. I was checking and uh, the game uh, got mixed reviews, but it's a $2 game. I do enjoy it. We're about to get to uh, 20 battles and there's a few things that I did not get. So we're going we're gonna to get them and then we're going to... I think I need more of this though. For instance, if I go here, there is demonic everything. Demonic pickaxe, demonic scythe. So See, if you're just barely above the number, it's enough to win. And these are the sources of your power. So I'm going to win this battle. Then I can, you know, make each of these tools. Like this. And I suppose I can upgrade them too. But I just want to make everything, you know, as much as possible. And everything that I can find. Um, there's a chest too. Demonic chest. Because there's no, uh, like here, here I want to, oh, whoops, I want to upgrade this, but I can't, I don't have enough uh, mana, right? So I can go in the warehouse, I click around, still a lot, uh, that's the academy, they all look the same, man. Okay, here's the warehouse, demonic chest, bang, now I have a lot of space, I can upgrade it too. This is going down because I'm making some of those swords there. But then I can upgrade this. No, uh, wrong click again. I can upgrade this to the max. There you go. So that's cool. And then uh, I'm getting stronger still. Uh, we did all the objectives though. So if there's a new update later, we might be a little bit ahead. And win 20 battles. Oh, this is battle number 20. I thought battle one. So now at tw this one will be a 20th win. There's also. This uh, demon whisper on resource field click temporary boost resource production. So, uh, you know, when I click like this on resource field click temporary boost resource production by 20%. And I don't understand what that means. Let me know in the comments what it means. If you don't mind, I don't know what it means. 
Uh, I'm trying to find units. Oh, there's something else here. Increase mana production by 40%. Okay. That's something I was missing. And then uh, I can do my battle number 20. Victory. And go here. Battle Harden. And I don't know what that does exactly. Increase army power by 30%. And... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think I got everything. So as I said earlier, we did a full playthrough of the game. First video, second video was a full playthrough of the game. Once again, with the update for $2. Huh, here's my demonic axe. Forgot to buy it. Can I upgrade it though? It doesn't seem like I can. Anyways. For $2, nothing to complain about. It's unfortunate that they have mixed reviews. Not the game of the century, but based on the price, you know. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to add. Uh, so I'll, I might play it just a little bit if I see that they add something uh, or they talk about adding some stuff. I might play some more just to um, make my army a little stronger. Uh, sacrifice more people. I can go here for instance, I can sacrifice more people. And it decreased happiness temporarily. Uh, and I don't even know what, it, what does it do exactly when I sacrifice people? When I sacrifice people, what does it do? Sacrificing villagers will decrease happiness. But, um, increase amount of attractive dark energy after winning about 40%. I don't know what that does. If you can help me in the comments also about this, that would be cool. I don't know what, what it does if I do that. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all I got for you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.